our next conductor. Noah, he's going to say a couple words about his own work. And he's the composer. This young guy is the composer of our next work. Here's the baton. <laughs> I, don't, I hope you don't mind if I take a couple of minutes because this is actually my first big unsolvable composition and it's, I'm very passionate about the subject. So this piece is by no means musically perfect, as many people have pointed out. Yeah, there's uh, similar motion in too many places, some of the balance is off, so I'll make some revisions. But I'm not striving for musical perfection, I'm striving for musical significance. And what is that? Musical significance is when music isn't just pretty or even beautiful like that last piece. Music is significant when it has meaning behind the notes. So, for example, when in The Lord of the Rings, Howard Shore plays the main theme in 5-4 instead of 3-4 to musically foreshadow how the orcs are about to ambush the Fellowship. Or in Dvorak's New World Symphony, how he takes music straight out of Swing Home, uh, yeah, out of uh, Swing Home Sweet Chariot, to and puts it in a theme to musically communicate to American composers that he thinks the right path for them is to take existing spirituals and jazz music and put it in their music. And clearly, it worked because you know, Mitchell just conducted a Gershwin piece, and he's considered a classic American composer now. So what did I do to make my piece musically significant? Well, first of all, it's called Better It's to honor the people who served our country. So you can hear throughout the piece each of the five military songs. Second of all, there is actually a heartbeat theme of this bum, bum. You, You'll hear it in the low brass and the percussion sometimes. When the heartbeat theme and each of the five military songs combine, the heartbeat actually skips a beat because each of those themes are very special. And finally, I end the piece not on a complete cadence. It ends on a cadential extension, which means that it sounds like it resolves, but on paper, it really doesn't. So that sort of means how in our country, we honor our veterans, but there's still a lot more work to be done to give them the respect and the treatment and just all of the things that they deserve for what they've done for us. So I hope you enjoy.
Thank you.